Hello, so uh, in this video I just wanted to show uh, what I'm doing at the moment with my switchblade. As you can see it's in various pieces at the moment, uh, completely took it apart. And the reason for that is uh, if you've ever owned a switchblade I'm sure you uh, you may have come across this issue where the, the top uh, spring where the the, the propellers uh, sort of hold in place sometimes doesn't work and it's to do with this this clip here. Now I'll just take this apart and show you the reason why. So let me just grab this. So on this clip uh, what you can see is uh, there's a piece here that, that's actually broken off so um, it's normally sort of like a like an arc shape and what I'd what I'd done to try and repair this uh, was made this uh, sort of piece that fits in here and it's like a, an arch piece of plastic and what was happening was I was sticking it on there and I was gorilla gluing it, super gluing it. Um, unfortunately plastic well didn't work because it was fashioned from um, this sort of this plastic that I'd got uh, off a tool and uh, every time I put it in as you can imagine the because uh, it's such a small sort of join it would just bend and snap. So what I've done again from uh, this piece of plastic I've actually cut out a uh, shape and I sort of fashioned uh, this sort of curve in, in hot boiling water so this will hopefully uh, fit in here and sort of form this sort of little clip so it sort of holds it up in place uh, against the, the spring so what happens is this, this clip here will uh, go over the propeller and hold it down and holds it in this position and then when you sort of press it that way it's just got enough flex in there to uh, allow it to pop the, the propellers open. So what I'm going to do now is uh, off camera I'm going to, I've tested this and it, and it actually works uh, I'm going to uh, glue this in place so I've got a bit more purchase on it uh, and then uh, put it all back together and show you how it works. Okay so uh, now I have uh, I'm actually super glued uh, this piece in place so I'm just going to stick it back together just to show that it actually works so we'll get that it's a little bit fiddly doing this behind the camera. So just put that in place and there's a spring there. I'm not going to put it down in place, I'm just going to hold it in place just to show you for um, just to show you that it's working. So let me just switch hands. So as you can see in there you've now got that clip, the little black clip inside there that you didn't see before and this should now hold in place and when you push it it pops up. So I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to just because you can see that a little bit I'm going to I'm going to paint the uh, paint the little uh, spring that I've created in uh, in a blue to, to match and uh, then get it all back together and it should be all working fine. Okay so here's the uh, the finished thing um, so what I did do off camera that uh, I never shown before was I actually uh, re-chromed the uh, engine wings and the guns uh, using this uh, Monito liquid chrome, quite handy. Uh, it is a little bit tricky to get used to so uh, I had a little practice before. Okay and then we can convert this into helicopter mode and show you it all working. So here you can just see the pin that I added so that now pops up. Pop all the guns in and it's there working away nicely. And then we can convert it back into attack mode, pop these up, pop your little guns out and there you go. It's got the bomb as well which is nice. 
nice addition so yeah so uh, very pleased with how that worked out uh, there was a few other things that I had to muck around with internally um, get used to because uh, there's tons and tons of springs and cogs and all sorts in there but uh, yeah very very pleased with the outcome